It turns out the budget cutting acts on Capitol Hill could jeopardize a major effort to help homeless veterans here in Connecticut. The Republican-led House of Representatives passed a federal budget over the weekend. In it, $60 billion worth of spending cuts. News 8's chief political correspondent Mark Davis reports from Jewett City. For the past seven years, the American Legion Post here in Jewett City has been working real hard to rehab this old building, to turn it into apartments for homeless veterans. They put together about a quarter of a million dollars from individuals, businesses, veterans organizations, and a bank loan to convert it to 18 small modern apartments for homeless veterans in an expanded building that will reflect the historic architecture of the town center. The bill is passed. But in the early morning hours this weekend, congressional budget cutting has placed the future of the project in doubt. If we don't get the vouchers, uh, we're up the creek. We've got a number of people making decisions now and some larger gifts, five or 10,000, based on the fact it's going to be financially viable. And it's not going to be without the vouchers. The vouchers are the $875 a month per apartment from the Federal Veterans Assisted Support Housing, known as VAST, that would be the cash flow to keep the place running after it's finished and help homeless veterans get back on their feet. The uh, budget that passed at 5 o'clock in the morning Saturday uh, uh, eliminated funding for this uh, budget year for VASH entirely. What the congressional budget cutters cut was $75 million from the program nationally, according to Courtney, on the mistaken notion that there is some kind of backlog of unused vouchers around the country. It just shows that, you know, what you see on TV down in Washington can really affect things right in, at home. Courtney gave the bad news to Legion leaders today, but said he hopes that reason will eventually prevail in Washington. Courtney says this is the kind of short-sighted budget cutting that the public really doesn't want. In Jute City, Mark Davis, News 8.